thankful for this year is number one, my father and mother, Brother Given, Sister June. What I received from Sister June this year is she's a generous woman. She does gratitude things and she's a great gratitude woman. And what I've taken from Brother Given this year is he encouraged me to get up here and speak. And he encourages me to speak loud. He encourages me to say, I'm loud and I'm proud. Glory to God in the highest. <laughs> and that's sometimes a good thing. <laughs> Number two, I like to give thanks to the word of truth for, give, for encouraging me to get up here and speak. And number four, I had very emotional upsets about Spring River, about residents that passed away this year. Eighteen of them that I knew. But I'm glad that they did not die in vain. And number five, a long time ago, the unspeakable happened. When Brother Gibbon and Sister June were off on a revival, due to a reaction to strawberries, I noticed that some of your brethren did not help. All of you pitched in help until I got better. And a few days later, due to the fact that I was on my conscience, if it wasn't for the word of truth, I wouldn't be here. I was encouraged to open a site. The truth has set you free. <laughs> and number six, I'm thankful that I can say things more clearly can just go out and say it. As Brother Isaac once said, there's a difference between saying, huh, and just saying, ah. <laughs> That's why I took him from that statement. <laughs> and number seven, I remember the brethren of the Word of Truth, Brother Al, Sister Sarah, Brother Mike Zaltra, Brother Dan Bruick, Sister Betty Cobb, Brother Rick and Karen Sinkowski and Brother Bill Parsons, they're always on my mind, on my heart. And number nine, I'm always, I, I can learn to be in peace with my enemies. And number nine, the renewal. I took from it what I ever could before. It was more cl clearly, and I gained more for it. I was like a wet, hungry sponge wanting to wake up, and I told Brother Judah, I couldn't sleep that those two nights. It was like a good kind of way. And number 10, last, I thank God for laying Sister Becky on my heart. She, she has always been an impact. I was 13 years old, and he was in that kitchen right over there. She asked me if I was good, what I was going to grow up to be. And I couldn't remember what. And then she pointed me in the face and said, No, you're not going to be that. You're going to be a speaker like your father. <laughs> I never would imagine if I was going to speak here right now, right here. And I know she'd be proud if she was here. Yeah.